Good morning. It's 7 a.m. We're up bright and breezy to go on the Manning Gorge hike. And we're just walking up to it now. And here's our instructions. Grade 4 5k return hike. So we have to swim across here first to start the hike. And uh, doesn't look like there's any blue buckets for Blue to put his bag in. You got enough space? Yeah, please. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Zoe, you ready? Oh, we will be right. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. That's all right. Is that it? Oh, no. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Right, we're coming across anything else? We'll be doing that in time. Huh? <laughs> oh. <coughs> so that's a fish in here. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Right. It's okay, we've changed my shoes. I've got my boots back on. Gosh, it's seven o'clock and it's still hot. They tell you that you have to start leaving late as 2 p.m. in case you get stuck out here in the dark. Let's go around. Short steps. The short people walk. Yeah, on video. Yeah, explain why we've always got the same clothes on. <laughs> yeah, why have we always got the same clothes on? <laughs> well, because we get wet all the time. Um, and every time we have a shower, we take the bucket in and wash, rinse them out. Uh, so this, uh, we can't get the stains out, but we can get the sweaty smells out. So we just wear the same clothes for hiking, more or less. Well, we know we're going to get wet, yeah. Also, the top I wear stops me getting burnt. Let's hope it's downhill soon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Is it a different trail back? Uh, someone has stacked all these rocks up. Like a Christmas tree. Or a big pizza, I guess. Morning. 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 Gosh, you were up early. I really like it's very hot. 5 a.m. <laughs> wow. Is that the top we might see over there? I think we're nearly there. At the oh, top? Some people, yeah. Oh, it's hot. It is warming up, isn't it? Oh, I think we should have come earlier. It's beautiful down there. You'll have a nice cool off. Yes. Are we nearly there? We seem to have been going forever. You're getting there? <laughs> that means we're not nearly there. <laughs> You've probably got a good, uh, yeah, more, like one, one K. Oh, not too more. bad then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Have a good day. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. You too. She said, we've got probably another 1k just over there. Yeah. <sighs> but we're on the flat. Yeah, it's a very long way. Yeah. Right. Right. It's pretty open this day, isn't it? Yeah. Very open out here. The sun's just beating on you, and it's a very long. <clears throat> Gosh, this section—it's going on and on and on, and it's just in the full sun. Open track. It's about one and a half kilometres, I think that lady said. But there, it's hot. Now I can see why they say do it early. I don't think I could have done this much later. 
And it's not the most exciting trek, you know, compared to some of the ones we've been on. It's just walking this long, long, dusty path and stinking heat. <sighs> Let's hope it's worth it when we get there. So my brother always walks ahead because he has a faster pace than me. And when you're hiking, I think it's important that you have your own pace. You know, it's like, I'm not running in this. I'm going my own pace, but he does stop and wait for me when there's a tricky bit. So he doesn't leave me, don't worry. He stops if there's a tricky bit that I might struggle with. I've got some rocks, some excitement. And how do we get down these? Well, he's going down, so... And of course, remember, if you go down, you got to come up it. I feel their pain. <laughs> Stinking hot, isn't it? She's warm. Yeah. She's warm. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Very wobbly on my feet. Blue! Which way did he go? That way. <sighs> Absolutely shattered. But finally, we can see that we're nearly there. Well, I'm done for. I'm absolutely done for. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. So, I've made it down that walk. It took me about 50 minutes. And I'm now at Manning Gulch, but I'm sat on the beach bit at the beginning. And I'm going to get my noodle and swim round the corner to see the waterfall. But um, the lady I was talking to says there isn't much water in it. But to be honest, I'm absolutely pooped. I needed some water and I couldn't stand the thought of climbing over those bigger rocks. Honestly, I'm absolutely exhausted. That's a tough walk. It's a boring walk as well. Uh, Right, let's, let's, let's go round the corner and see if we can see the falls. When I've had a bit more water. Here we go. Swimming the man in gorge sea blue all the way up there. Here we are, that man in God. Not much of a waterfall, but still, how pretty is that? Gonna jump off the rocks? No, 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 it's no good for my ears. And so that was Manning Gorge walk. It was uh, very hot, very tiring. And when we left there, we packed up the camp and we drove the two and a half hours to Ellenbrae. Checked in, it was about three o'clock when we checked in, about quarter to four by the time we'd set up. Four o'clock, we were in bed. Fast asleep until this morning. Hence, there was no filming. So that was... Uh, we think a mixture of uh, heat exhaustion. Even though we had our hats on, it was incredibly hot doing that walk and it was so open and exposed. So it's made us kind of think about, you know, doing too many gorges and doing too many in the open. Um, but to, today I'll show you around Ellenbrae uh, station when we get there. Uh, we're going to go for some scones this morning and then we're going to drive on to the Pentecost and just park there and chill out for the day. <sighs> Can't believe I slept about 12, 14 hours. <laughs> this is where we're camped um, at Ellenbury. It's quite a spacious campground. Over there it's got shower blocks. 
and toilets. And last night, on that grass there over there, they had live music. But as I said, I was fast asleep. I saw it when I went out to go to the toilet about half past six at night. But um, other than that, we missed all the entertainment. So this is Ellen Bray Homestead. And we've come here to check out their scones. They serve them between eight and four. And it's just after eight. Morning. It's a very cute homestead. They have chickens over there. So we've gone for a ham and cheese toasty to start because we haven't eaten. We haven't had dinner. We went to bed so early. And I've got a mango frappe. Bruce got a cappuccino. And then we've got our scones. So I'll tell you, the scones taste nice. But let's see what this ham and cheese is like. Mmm. Mmm. Mango frappy. Very good. Blue's tucked into his scones already because he hasn't eaten for 16 hours. 19 hours. 19 hours. I'm just about to start mine. And so they're nice and warm, these scones. This is what you come to Edinburgh for, the scones. Mm, I quite like them. But he doesn't think it's a scone. It's very um, fluffy. Worth the stop. Six dollars each. So well, each scone, six dollars. I don't think that's a bad price. Mango frappe was ten dollars. And how much was your cappuccino? Not ten dollars. Eight? No. Five or six, I think. Well, this will do the trick. Fill us up. Ready for the road ahead? Be back on the gib. I just got these. Well, we got one each. I survived the gib river road. Well, we haven't survived it yet because we're not at the end. But uh, we'll keep them, in, fingers crossed, we make it to the end in one piece with four tyres. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Where that car's coming out, we're going down there. No, I'm on about over here. Straight, just straight through. I mean, I, I guess it's as good as yours, but I'm going to say straight through. Yay, you did it, Blue. Cool, yeah. Opens that way. He's got the shade that way, isn't he? Yeah. We'll put our sheets up. We'll be fine. Yeah. And here we are at the Pentecost. Super excited, oh, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Give you a good show round in a minute. So here we are, camped up on the Pentecost River, and I tell you, it's absolutely stunning here. We're just parked here. And we're 
right near the water and it's so beautiful and calm. Now obviously the Pentecost is full of saltwater crocodiles so I shall be swimming in there. But we'll be fishing. So we drove in over there on the crossing and we've been watching cars come over there. Why does it have to be so inviting? It's scorching hot here. I've got my sheet up to protect me from the sun. And, uh, yeah, but what a beautiful place to be. Very lucky and fortunate to be able to do this. Not many people can say they've camped here, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's really weird here because it's not like windy. You just get these big gusts that just suddenly come through and it's starting to come through now. We just had one. Oh, sand went everywhere. Look, now we've got a bit of shade in the clouds. Blue's venturing out there to do his fishing. I'm just lying here on my bed because you can get the breeze up here and it's so hot. And I hear this. Look out, there's Bluey and Bull walking past my tent. Huh? Oh, it's been a very hot couple of days and uh, it's very hot here on the Pentecost. Um, I spent a couple of hours this afternoon just lying on the top. I'm trying not to move so I didn't get too hot. And also you've got a breeze from up there. A uh, bit of a breeze now in the evening but, you know, it's, it's like, oh, it's about half four now. Sun's going down and it's finally cooling off, but it is absolutely beautiful here. Not many people can say that they've camped on the Pentecost River, croc infested Pentecost River. Um, you know, I never forget how lucky I am to be able to do this. Um, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Little tiddler. Keep getting the tiddlers. Well, you might as well just chuck it out like that, aren't you? No, I'm not going to do that. What is it, a catfish or a shark? Shark, catfish. Oh, it's it looks like a little shark. It's not a catfish. Yeah. Look at that sunset.